Somnia by Stephen King. Another one of my favourites and a very scary dark fantasy novel. The story takes place in the fictional town of Derry, Maine, that we know from it. A retired man in his 70s, Ralph Roberts, encounters his neighbour and acquaintance, Ed Deepno, who, strangely enough, has undergone a notable change in his personality. He seems to be aggressive, and he uses really bad language towards the driver of a truck, who he accuses of transporting fetal tissue from abortions. He thinks this guy's got barrels of dead babies for some strange reason. Months later, now the widow, widower, Ralph Roberts, witnesses Ed physically abusing his wife, Helen, after she signs a petition about pro-choice. Um, a lady named Susan Day was supposed to come and give a talk about pro-choice. She leaves Ed and seeks refuge in a woman's shelter. Um, Ralph then begins to experience sleep insomnia, progressively waking up earlier and earlier every day until he's not getting any sleep at all and this starts to drive him mad. Well, the side effects of this means that he's hallucinating a little bit. He's perceiving things that others cannot see, colourful auras and what he calls balloon strings, strange things coming out of people's head, and the auras surrounding people. And he also sees white-coated little men that he refers to as the little bold doctors. Ralph deduces that these are not hallucinations per se, but rather genuine elements present in a different state of reality. So he discovers that his crazy neighbour, Ed, has also seen these things. And his other friend, Lois, who lives across the street, she's also been suffering from the somnia, and she starts hallucinating them too. And so the auras can be interpreted by meanings. They can see the colours and they have meanings for them. So Ralph and Lois come across two of the three bold doctors, Clothos and Lachesis, who appear dignified and responsible for guiding individuals towards the end of their lives when their time comes to it. However, there is the third doctor, Atropos, who delights in causing chaos and a premature ending to lives. He's working for the random. They're the three fates from Greek mythology, basically. Clothos, Lachesis and Atropos. Ralph and Lois learn that life is influenced by two opposing forces, the purpose and the random. These are not adversaries, but rather contrasting entities. Ed is a rare individual who does not belong to either force and can be significantly um, altered and influenced by the, the naughty doctor. They're two good doctors and one naughty doctor, basically. During their journey, Ralph and Lois discover the existence of da -da -da -da, the Crimson King, who is a shape-shifting being from another dimension, a higher dimension, if you like. And he feeds on negative emotions and seeks to rule through chaos, basically. The Crimson King has dispatched Atropos to manipulate Ed as part of a larger plan to disrupt the order of the universe. Clothos and Lachesis 
are representatives of the purpose. And they cannot directly interfere with what's going on, but they can nudge you in the right direction or give you advice. Instead, they bestow Ralph and Lois with insomnia, enabling them to perceive and access other levels of reality that would aid in defeating Atropos. These levels are depicted as beams of a, or levels of a skyscraper, basically, or a tower, if you want, with Ralph having a vision of the Dark Tower representing the multiverse. A controversial pro-choice activist called Susan Day is scheduled to speak at the Derry Civic Centre. Ralph and Lois notice a black aura surrounding the building of the Civic Centre, indicating a dark and ominous future. It's difficult to explain. There's a lot going on in this book, but Honestly, in terms of fantasy, I just think it's brilliant.